Yeah. Look how the diamond bleed off my jet. Fresh in my white teeth. See the progress. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. Gene Deal exposes Diddy's disturbing plans for Derrick Kane members. Now, fool, I just did some research, fool, and I found out that. Okay, well, obviously, fool, we you know Daddy the Kane was a group that Bad Boy Records slash Diddy put on. But didn't they like win making the band? Like Freddie P. Y'all let me know some of the comments. We ain't gonna waste no time. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Drop down in the comments what y'all wanna see next. Follow me on the gram at sta.kt and at really kt and go stream me in your mind. I don't know everywhere. Bye. S-T-A-K-T. Look at baby. What's going on, man? This lawsuit, you know, Cassie, she alleges that, you know, Diddy, he would get violent with her and he would get violent with any man that tried to start a relationship with her. Damn. Hey, bro. How violent, though? He know who to do that shit to. What, he, what you mean? You understand what I'm saying? It's certain dudes. That go that, for that shit? Oh. Um. He'll do that, too, because he could, he could get away with it quick enough or he got somebody behind him. Oh, he got some people there. They no matter going to take his way for. It's only so far he's going to go himself. Of course, he can't be getting in trouble. It's only so far he's going to go himself. Oh, God, he so can't be now, getting in trouble. You know, he's going to come at you hard. Try to play it off. Because he know if he do anything and it comes back to him, it's a lawsuit. He slaps somebody, hit somebody. That's a payday for them. Type shit. Oh, but he'll God. make up that whole atmosphere. And then he'll look at one of the bouncers or look at somebody a certain way. And they'll take over his mess. Damn, so, he got the power like that. I could see him. He'd be like coming at somebody hard like that. Look, didn't, didn't he just kill somebody? He did this. By himself? Nigga, the, the murder never even fight. happened no more. That shit crazy. But he don't have to. Right, right. But I want to ask you, right? And I know you ain't signing. I know you ain't signing NDA, clearly. But did, did he make his artist sign NDAs and people that work for him? Well, a lot of these rappers, a lot of these industry people, anybody who does business nowadays with the internet, they have indies, non disclosure that means that you if can't you discuss them, what's going on outside of them, what you're doing. You yes. can't disclose any of the information about them. It's the same thing that he gave to Bruh. all his artists. That's so crazy. That's, that's even a thing. But you feel me? I'm going to give y'all y'all publishing, but y'all can't talk about Janice Cohn, Justin Cohn, uh, Sony, Bad Boy. Or anything that happened. You can't talk about when I try to get you to suck my dick. Y'all can't talk about none of that. You can't tell nobody when I wanted but you to fuck me. But artists that didn't say anything, that didn't <laughs> sign it, and they able to talk about anything they want to. You can't say nothing when I offer you a butt plug. Those girls that was, I think Danny D. Kane. I, I think a couple of them didn't sign it. And boy, oh boy, they probably going to go after him too. It's so crazy. You I never heard, heard of that ass after they fell out Aubrey. with Diddy. He stood up there Bruh. and said, Who died of the comedy is know who Deadly Kane people. is. I just had to look that ass up for We were in the studio. It's so crazy, bro. You got to. And I said bruh. something to him and walked out the studio. He said, Yo, I'm going to drug their ass off and pick them out and, and, and pimp them out to my. <laughs> pimp them out to my nick. He said, I'm going to drug them out. I'm going to get them all on drugs, and I'm going to pimp their ass out to my... And I was like, know somebody kids and walked out. And there's somebody that heard me. It's somebody that heard me. I mean, well, it's not only somebody that heard me. It's somebody that I know who was in the studio at the time that happened, and I still talk to him today. And we were just talking about that the other day. He didn't move back to Indiana. I don't know why. But he just, oh my I'm God, God. he just know. said who it is. This nigga just gave up this nigga. Drug them all out and tip them out. <laughs> who was it, bro? You might as well say the name now, fool. 
Fool, right before he might as well say who the fuck he's talking about, who else heard the shit that you're elaborating for? You might as well go and drop that, bro. Nick Studio right then. So he had to be cool with Diddy around the time when Gene did was a security guard for him, right? It's obvious. Fool, he just, bro. Oh my God. Basically, just snitched on the nigga. And y'all let me know on a scale of one to 10. How bad do you think Gene Deal was to get caught up to the witness stand if his ass get took the trial, goddamn? Diddy, that is. Bro, I don't got time for all that shit, fool. I ain't lying. That's it for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Drop down to the comments what y'all want to see next. Follow my girl at STA.KT and at ReallyKT. And go stream me and mine out now everywhere by STAKT. And I'm going to see y'all next video, man. Big brr. Got it, Look how the diamond bleed off my jet. Fresh in my white teeth. See the progress. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner.